It's one of the best ways to beat a wildfire. And it's sitting right here in Austin. Today, KXAN's Katina McHenry got a tour of the DC-10, one of only two in the nation. I'm standing inside this gigantic DC-10 aircraft. It once had 380 seats inside, but they're all gutted out now. Their fly suits hanging, and it's now used as an important piece in the state's firefight. The DC-10 goes where it's assigned. It's fought fires in San Marcos, Magnolia, Panorama, and Northeast Texas this summer. The amount of destruction has been uh, been some of the worst. The DC-10's only job is to spray this fire retardant. It can hold up to 12,000 gallons of it in this tank. Flying the airplane from here to the fire is just like flying it um, when we had passengers on board. Once we get into that fire area, then things change up a little bit. Um, more of a hands-on, um, seat-of-the-pants type flying. Pilots have just a few chances to get it right. They can't do it without this lead plane, though. The lead plane flies ahead looking out for tall trees, towers, and other planes. It tells a DC-10 exactly where to make the drop. We have a little smoke generator on the airplane. Uh, just like the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds have, and we'll punch a trail of smoke out to show them exactly where we want that retardant. The pilots don't get to decide where the plane is sent, though. It's all coordinated by incident commanders on the ground, and it's based on priority. A big team effort, um, and, and, uh, and then from that point on, we're going to communicate with the air tankers as to where, uh, where we want to put the retardant, uh, what coverage levels we want to use uh, so that the retardant is effective on the ground. Crews from the United States Forest Service and National Guard are here from all over the country and even as far away as Canada. They will stay here as long as they're needed. Right now this DC-10 is grounded sitting at Austin's airport just waiting for its next assignment. In Austin, Katina McHenry, KXAN News.